Thank you very much for joining me on this Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields watching two areas out there. This one may try to spin up. This one will bring an extreme flood threat. I want to get into a couple things. This area here is coming from here. That is going to move back toward Jamaica, Haiti, Cuba, Turks and Caicos, and the DR. Now, uh, regardless if this gets a name or not, this forecast you're seeing right here is going to hold. Again, the forecast, uh, as far as what I'm seeing, is locked in, regardless if this becomes Vince or not, we're going to see some of the same impacts out of this. Jamaica, I want to mention, we're going to be right on the edge of things. It is going to be a close call for Jamaica between uh, some rain and way too much rain, and I'm still not quite sure I tell you what I know and what I don't know. So again, Jamaica, I still have some question marks. Will the rain stay just to the south and east, or will it work directly in? But we need to make some of the preparations for flooding to, of course, be on the safe side. Where this rain goes, it is going to lead to an extreme flood event. Again, not for all of us. I don't want this to be an alarmist channel. Most of us will not be seeing this, but as this moves in, in particular, Haiti and the DR, and right on the edge of Jamaica, we're going to see uh, extreme flooding in some locations. Right now, we've been seeing the rain in Belize. That is kind of part of this overall area, Cayman Islands. Now, Cayman Islands, most of this will stay to the uh, south and east as well. Belize, though, we've had some flooding. We, we had it last night. We had it this morning, so keeping a close eye on that. And then this system, will start to get stronger. So again, we are in action mode. Uh, again, not in an alarming way, but with that, Jamaica, Eastern Cuba, Haiti, the DR, Turks and Caicos, we're making preparations if we can. I know we have different means, but if we can for the high potential of flooding. Now, Jamaica, we're going to be on the edge of it. Puerto Rico too. Puerto Rico, we're in monitor mode. So again, not in action mode as it stands now. Most of the rain would be just off to the west. But look at this. This is kind of the initial thinking on what I'm seeing with some of the rain. These would be four day rain totals. This is out in time. That This would take us out in time until Friday. Now, uh, the kind of black shading, white and black shading in here, that would be four to six inches of rain or 100 millimeters to 150 millimeters of rain. But look what happens. By the time we get into Thursday night into Friday, these colorings are off of my chart. They're off of my scale. In here, we're going to have over 300 millimeters of rain or 12 inches of rain easily. That means an extreme flood threat. Now, here's the core of it right here. It may move right over toward uh, Jock Mel, Boston Bluish, get over toward Haiti, or it could be a little bit more over here near Jamaica, not sure yet, or a little bit more over here. So again, it's not for all of us, but where we have this core, uh, you could hear my tone, we're going to have that flooding that is going to be life-threatening at the river crossings, extreme run off and the mudslide. So right now, Jamaica, we're going to be on the edge of very heavy rain, still kind of a wait and see how much. Haiti looks to be in the uh, bullseye as far as how much rain we're going to get or the intense rain we're going to get right into eastern Cuba, watching the Dominican Republic for the mudslide threat, especially by Friday and in the Turks and Caicos. I want to show you the winds, but let me show you the rain first. So let's start with this. Here's the European model. Now, actually, the models have backed off a little bit on making this a tropical storm, but as I mentioned right away, that doesn't matter. It is the rain with this that is the big concern. Here's Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic. Here we are in Puerto Rico. Here's Florida, Bahamas, right through Cuba. Here's some of the rain in Belize, watching Nicaragua, Honduras, and Nicaragua today, and then keeping an eye on this system up here. Now, let me take you out on time with the European model. European and American models are pretty similar at this point. This is by the time we get into later tomorrow, so you can see a couple things here. Here's this system uh, that's near Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. A little area will develop right here in the Bahamas. Increased rain and flooding in parts of the Bahamas. It, this area here is going to help to kind of draw this, help steer it back toward Jamaica and or Haiti, and then eventually Turks and Caicos. So as we work our way into late Thursday, you see it here, but the European model does not have this as a tropical storm at this point, but this would be intense flooding, the potential of that in Jamaica, Eastern Cuba, and Haiti. Now starting in Jamaica first on Thursday, then Thursday night. And I'll keep an eye on this spin over here, most likely not tropical in nature, the one above it, but all this action up here does help kind of draw this in. All of this is going to get tied together. This would be by late on Friday, near the Turks and Caicos, Southern Bahamas, Eastern Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Intense rain 
intense flooding as we work our way through the day on Friday, and then this system will lift to the north. And by the time we get into Sunday, that could bring more intense rain back toward Bermuda and then kind of scoot away quickly after that. All of this really tied together. So that's what I'm seeing there. Now, let me show you the American model, and then I want to show you the winds, and you can see it spinning up. So let's get to that. Here's the, uh, and you can see how similar this is to the European model. So we've got this system up here. Again, all of this action up here that will bring a lot of rain over toward parts of the Gulf states in the United States, that is going to help draw this up. That's the steering of this that I'm watching. But another little area of low pressure, again, northern and central Bahamas, uh, that will try to spin up just like what we are seeing on the uh, European model. So watching the rain, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, uh, over toward uh, Mexico, Costa Rica, and Panama. Then by the time we get into tomorrow, the rain builds. So Jamaica, we're going to start to see the rain chance go up, especially later tomorrow on the edge of the extreme rain in Jamaica. Here's this other little area of low pressure trying to develop. Doesn't look tropical, could be subtropical. Uh, National Hurricane Center might, may highlight that area. Then that area kind of lifts to the north, helping to draw this in. It starts to get all tied together. Now, the uh, American model, which was showing some crazy hurricane days ago, obviously that's not the case right now, but showing that buildup of rain, and you see it here by Thursday, and then Thursday night working right into Haiti in the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, keeping a very close eye on uh, you and Puerto Rico and even the Virgin Islands, but look how this all gets kind of tied together. This is one of the reasons it may got, not get named. There's a lot going on, a lot of different areas out there, so it may not be able to get its act together, but that changes nothing with the forecast. That rain works in Hispaniola, Turks and Caicos as we get into a Friday, and then this is Saturday. Some of that moisture still kind of feeding in on Saturday across Haiti, the DR, and then Saturday we'll see the increased chance of rain in Puerto Rico. So I just need to kind of wait and see another day to see exactly how much rain we're going to get in Jamaica. But as I mentioned, we're in action mode. Now let's find some of these areas of circulation. There's that little spin right there. And here's that spin here, kind of broad in nature, uh, very close to uh, just south of Jamaica by the time we get into tomorrow. So these two areas, both big rainmakers, this one here, definitely a bigger rainmaker. It's going to really draw in a lot of moisture, a lot more energy down here. And you see the winds, this white shading showing up. We are going to have tropical storm conditions. Winds will be around 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour near Jamaica, then more so Haiti and the Dominican Republic Friday into Saturday. And even as this lifts into the Turks and Caicos Friday into Saturday, we're going to have some gustier winds, even some gusty winds in Puerto Rico. So monitoring that. But my huge concern is the flooding, the river crossings with this. This is a life-threatening scenario. Again, not for all of us in the Caribbean, but really watching near Jamaica, Haiti, the DR, Eastern Cuba, Turks and Caicos, and I will monitor uh, Puerto Rico, of course. So closer look at this to zoom down since this is so important. So again, here's Jamaica, ABC Islands, Trinidad and Tobago right here, just to kind of set the stage going out in time. This is tomorrow. Tomorrow, the rain starts to build most and mostly in decent shape tomorrow, but the rain builds. Then by Thursday, that's when it could start to move in in Jamaica. But look at some of the dry spots in Jamaica. So uh, the rain could be, the heaviest could be just offshore or it could be on top of us. It's going to be a very close call with that. But you see this big surge of moisture just allowing these incredibly high rain totals over 300, 350 millimeters of rain is going to be a potential with this. So as we get into Friday, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, all of this still feeding in really from Panama and Costa Rica, Colombia, kind of lifting up to the north. And that will be around as we work our way into Friday night and much of Saturday. Saturday, seeing some of that rain back over toward Puerto Rico. All of this just kind of lifting up to the north after that. So yeah, a lot to track. Now again, may not get a name. If this area does get a name, it would be Vince, it doesn't matter. Vince or no Vince, we're gonna have some tropical storm conditions and that rain, I'm just kind of fine tuning where that heaviest core of the rain will go. So in the short term, Jamaica is just an isolated shower or storm. Uh, Cayman Islands, an isolated chance. It's gonna build in a day or two, of course. Haiti, all eyes on Thursday night into Friday. Same thing in the DR, we'll have a 40% chance on Thursday in the Dominican Republic, but Thursday night, into Friday. That's when some of the worst weather moves in. Cuba, the focus is going to be on the extreme eastern end of Cuba for that threat of rain. Bahamas, watching a few areas. Again, watching this new area, second area of low pressure developing northern and central Bahamas. That'll increase the rain. And then Turks and Caicos watching Thursday night, 
Friday, Friday night in particular for the heaviest rain. Puerto Rico, we're going to keep an eye on what's going on to see if kind of some of this shifts our way. Could see a higher chance of rain late Friday into Saturday. Virgin Islands also monitoring that. U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Trinidad and Tobago as we swing back toward the eastern Caribbean, southeastern Caribbean, scattered rain and storms. We've had some isolated flooding in the last few days. Grenada holding on to a 50% chance for today. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a 50% chance. Rain chance builds some in Barbados. Not a lot around today in Barbados, not a ton around in St. Lucia, but uh, we'll see a better chance by the time we get into Thursday. Martinique, a 30% chance of a shower storm, a 20% chance today in Dominica, a 30% chance for tomorrow. Same thing in Guadeloupe over the next two days. Rain chance very minimal. Antigua and Barbuda for today and tomorrow, a 20% chance St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Just a 10% chance in Anguilla and St. Bart's may increase, though, by Saturday. Same thing, St. Martin, uh, Saban, Stacia, rain chance about 20%. But Belize, that high chance of rain, even over toward our Colombian Islands, uh, Providencia, San Andres, we're going to see a lot of rain around for today with that flooding. 20% chance for today in Aruba, a 20% chance the next couple days in Curacao, a 30% chance by Thursday. Uh, Bermuda, we're going to start to be a little bit drier Wednesday and Thursday, but down the road as these systems live by. I'll be tracking that uh, for us in uh, Bermuda. Yucatan, again, scattered rain and storms around today. Costa Rica, that elevated 70% chance for today and tomorrow. A 30% chance in northern Venezuela. A 20% chance today in Guyana. 40% chance for tomorrow. And a 20% chance the next couple days in Suriname. So all eyes on this extreme flooding event. Thank you for uh, doing what you can and just sharing this information. Again, need a day to really fine-tune where it's going to go. It's really looking like Haiti and and again, Jamaica being right on the edge of this heavy rain. This is going to be a life-threatening flood situation. I showed you the totals. They are going to be crazy uh, where this area goes. Does not need to be a named system. 16 days left in the hurricane season. And once again, November is looking to be very active. Let's hope it settles down in December. Last year, we had intense areas of flooding in November. And of course, with Hurricane Nicole in November. And in December, we had some historic flooding in parts of Trinidad and Tobago. So again, we'll see how busy we go over the next month to month and a half. Thank you for getting the word out. Be safe. I'll give you those updates as needed. Uh, thank you for being with me and your trust in this hurricane season. Have a good rest of your day.